Tutorial number nine, recorder bar and recorder tools. Hello and welcome to the PCO Camware video tutorials. This tutorial explains the recorder bar and the recorder tool. The recorder tools section is located in the lower right hand corner of the PCO Camware default layout. If closed or disabled, you can activate it by clicking on View, Toolbars, and Docking Windows. The Extended Recorder feature can be activated there too. With the red button, a record is started. In the recording state, PCO Camware is highlighted in red. When multiple cameras are connected, the recording starts simultaneously for all active cameras. If you don't want single cameras to record, Deactivate this particular model by removing the check mark from the box in the camera list. A recorded sequence can be replayed by clicking the play button. Different play speeds are selectable. Additionally, you can choose one single replay or a continuous loop of the sequence. Statistically, independent image noise can be reduced by averaging images. For that, set a higher value than 1x in the drop-down list. Another option for noise reduction is the activation of the infinite impulse response in short IIR low-pass filter. In some application, a synchronization of the camera and an external light source is needed when using the live preview mode. You can simply activate preview with external signals for this task. Learn everything about trigger modes in our separate video tutorial. PCO Camware uses free RAM space on your computer to save images. In sequence mode, the recording stops when the RAM space is full. In ring buffer mode, the software overwrites images continuously in a first-in, first-out manner. If you want to change the number of recorded images, you have to open the Acquisitions tab and select Memory Allocation dialog. When the recording is done, thumbnails of the image sequence are displayed automatically in the Recorder docking window. When you click on a thumbnail, it will be shown in the View window. The build process can be stopped by selecting Stop Build Thumbnails in the right-click menu within the Recorder section. The lower blue bar shows the range of the upper scale in relation to the whole record. If thumbnails are too dark or too bright, right-click in the view window and select Auto Range Peak or Auto Range Crop. Then right-click on the thumbnail image and select Rebuild Thumbnails. Now the thumbnail images should match the contrast of the view window. You can scroll through the thumbnails by dragging the orange bar with the mouse or by the mouse wheel while the cursor is over the image number bar. The arrow keys on the keyboards allow to scroll through the thumbnails too. You can search for events in your record. An event is defined by an image content change from one image to the next. Right click on the thumbnails and activate Search for Events. After that, the detected events are shown as green bars. If you want just part of the sequence to be replayed, right-click on the preferred start image, left-hand side to the displayed thumbnail, and activate Set In. For the last image, right-click on the selected image on the right to the actual displayed thumbnail and activate Set Out. The now light gray area can be adjusted by holding down the left mouse button. Be aware if set in, set out is active, your image selection is pre-selected by opening the saving dialog. Reset in, set out discards these settings. If you made a recording but didn't save it yet, PCO Camware will remind you to do it before starting the new one. If the dialog is deactivated, reactivate it via the File Options menu.
This was all about recording. If you want to know everything about saving, hang on to the next video. Thanks for watching.